Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. This is the third video that we're uploading today because we're doing some showings out in Hurricane, Leverkin area. And first I'd like to thank the listing agent, Judy McCleary with Platinum Real Estate for allowing us to tour this property and show it to you and the rest of our YouTube viewers. So thank you for giving us the opportunity to do that. And uh, let's check out this beautiful Dixie Springs home. Uh, this property is located in Dixie Springs. This is a great neighborhood. It's really close to Sand Hollow. And as you can see from Michonne giving us a pan, literally every home in my line of sight has an RV garage. So it's kind of, uh, that's, that's the unique uh, thing about this home that we're about to tour is it has a two car plus an attached oversized RV garage with a gate that takes you into the backyard to have access to an additional garage. But let's take a look inside and check out this home. I'll give you guys some stats about this property. It is a three bedroom, two bathroom, 1,795 square foot home that has an RV garage that is 46 feet deep and almost 12 feet, 11 feet, seven inches tall uh, with a 12 foot door. And there's an additional uh, 10 foot, almost an 11 foot, 10 foot nine, extra garage in the backyard with an 18 foot by 18 foot depth with a 16 foot uh, width. That's a mouthful. So the front of this property has uh, a courtyard that opens up uh, to the front and right there behind Michonne, you can see some views of Pine Valley Mountain right over the neighbor's house. Beautiful mature landscaping. This home was built let me take a look. It was built in 2013 and it has a total garage square footage of 1,079 square feet. Front entry has a solid double metal door and it is a custom door and these uh, glass panels can be opened to allow some airflow. We'll show you from the inside. It's kind of a cool design touch as these bolts can be loosened. Allowing for the glass section of that door to open and allow some nice early morning or afternoon airflow to enter the property through the front. Let's see if I can do it single-handed. I guess I can. Easy operation, do it with your single hand. So to the right of the front door, we have a coat closet that is currently occupied by a vacuum cleaner. Uh, the flooring here is a combination of tile flooring with carpet throughout uh, portions of the living room and all the bedrooms. As we go to the right, this opens into a living room in a kitchen. Kitchen has um, some darker oak cabinets with a nice granite countertop on the center island and throughout. It does have gas appliances, has a gas um, Kenmore store, stove uh, with Maytag refrigerator and a general electric microwave. The cabinets are not soft clothes, but a really cool touch about this kitchen is this hidden pantry. Take a look at this. It looks like it blends in as one of the cabinets and then it opens into this good size walk-in pantry that actually goes around the corner and it has plenty of shelving and a nice tile floor. The backyard is very nice and private. There's a little fridge over there. There is a little fridge. Uh, there's actually a, a beverage refrigerator that's built into um, these uh, cabinets. So this is kind of a nice touch. Living room looks nice and open and it has trade ceilings that go up and have some accent lighting. As we go in this direction from the living room through the kitchen, we have our first door to the right is a laundry room. Laundry room has some nice cabinets and space for washer and a dryer and the breaker panel is also located here. 
and let me take a peek behind this dryer so I could tell you if it's electric or gas. The current dryer appears to be gas, but it has an electric hookup as well. There's some space for uh, a folding table. Looks like it has some tile countertops and some nice looking cabinets. Directly across from the laundry room, we have a downstairs bath, or I guess it's only, it's a single level. So we have a, a guest bath here, similar style um, countertop with a single sink vanity, nice big mirror and a tiled tub. Just outside of this uh, bathroom, we have a linen closet, pretty good size. And we have a bedroom right here. It's a good size bedroom with a walk-in closet and the window opens up to the front of the property right into the courtyard. It has a really nice private feel because it's set back from the street, just a little, little extra, a little extra barrier in between. And then to the right, we have another bedroom that has a window that opens up just outside of the courtyard, but has some nice shading from the mature palm tree that we have in the front yard. This room also has a closet. It's a full-size closet. And it has a fan light fixture. The light fixtures uh, and some of the hardware uh, is showing the age and the style of this property. And as we cross the living room, to this wing of the house, we have a door that takes you out in the garage, but we'll check that out last. Let's take a look at the master suite. This property has a good size master suite with access to the exterior. So in the event, if you uh, decide to get a hot tub or a pool, you have easy access to that. And this is the master bath has a pretty angular layout. There's a master closet, dual vanity, kind of a boxed off space for uh, the toilet. And then directly across, we have a nice walk-in shower with a glass door and some extra storage in the cabinets. But this master suite does not have a tub. What else have we not seen? Should we go check out the garage? Yeah, let's go check out the garage. Okay, so to the right of the front door, we have the door that takes us into the garage. And the listing description said this property has over a thousand square feet of garage space. So we are currently in the two car bay that has a little bit of extra space. And the water heater is on a two car side and this is a 46 by 16, I believe, the RV garage that also has 12 foot ceilings. So you could, you could fit probably a class A in here easily. There were some pretty interesting instructions on how to access uh, the shop out back. So I had to solve a little bit of a puzzle, but now we have full access to the shop out back. So let's go check that out. This property has really nice landscaping throughout. And as you can see, this is zero scape uh, with a water feature and lots of patio space. It's really nice and shaded. It is 538 at the time of filming this video. So you get some really nice afternoon shade in this backyard and zero maintenance, artificial turf, a little patch of it with some nice desert plants and rock around it. Looks really good. Also, you get a bit of a feeling of sitting in a ball in here because the neighboring property behind us is considerably higher. So it gives you some really good rear privacy. And this shop to the side pretty much walls you off from the neighbors that are behind me. And this is all concrete. So if you have uh, motorcycles, side-by-sides, any other vehicles, there's a nice long concrete driveway that takes you out all the way to the front of the property and gets you into the shop. And there's no obstacles here either, so you'd be 
it'd be relatively easy to back a trailer or bring in whatever whatever you need to in that space. So plenty of parking. And let's check out this detached shop. This detached shop has full electrical, a man door on the side and a roll-up door on the front. And it has a light fixture with a fan. It's pretty good in size, so there's plenty of storage back here. That fan uh, makes the lighting flicker like a scary movie. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at this backyard from back here. I just love how private it feels here. And you know, with having that access on the side of your house, if you wanted to put in a pool, you would certainly have plenty of room and plenty of room for the equipment to get back here. And all of the HVAC units are on this side of the house and you still have plenty of room back here um, to put the trash bins and have, have some of the other exterior stuff on this side of the house. Oh, what, is that, what does that concrete pad go to? It looks like it was meant for a door. It looks like it was cemented for either a door or maybe uh, another HVAC unit. Mm -hmm. Not sure. Um, or you know what? Sometimes a pad like that is poured for pool equipment. So that could be potentially that as well. Um, really nice pergola that's built into uh, the side of the building. It's super solid. And it actually provides plenty of shade. Mm -hmm. Guys, let us know what you think about this home. Drop us a comment below. Let us know, would you live here? What do you think about this RV garage? Thank you so much for tuning in to check out this video and I will see you in the next one.